Hunter x Hunter episode 63. Biscuit has joined the party. Something tells me Biscuit is a G. I, I like Biscuit. <laughs> She's just coming here and owning them. I don't think you need to beg. I think she just like adopted you guys. After initially wanting to ruin your lives. You can have both. It's not a, a disrespect to your master to have another master. Or learn from other people. Oh. And the one who's lurking always? Whoa. Whoa. Damn, the lineage. Yo, you know what that means? She's a uh, Grand Torino to Klu and Gon's Deku. Or would that be Shimura? So why is she in the game then? And she used to be an examiner. This girl's connected. Look, if you can help us with Nen, say no more. Wow, she's a love interest, mommy, and master. All in one. AX, hard X master. It was so hostile. They have a great dynamic. Just immediately rising above it. What? Someone that she's scared of? Oh, I guess her training begins now. Being young continues to be, or looking young, continues to be their advantage. Alright, yeah. One thing that's great about the kids is that they're really proud and stubborn, but they're also very quick to relent to, like, correct, honest evaluation of their deficiencies. I think that's part of the reason why they grow so quickly. It's a cool combination when you think about it. That mix of real confidence and will with humility. No doubt. Also bright. You chose good students, Biscuit. I guess she's, she wants the engagement. Oh, alright. A harsh ex master. Did she really have to sell it that well, though? I think part of her did that for fun. Clue are resorting to following the plan despite what is surely a seething rage. That's willpower right there, speaking of which. He looks like the gremlin from Death Note. <laughs> That's a crime. Okay, so you saw that movie too. I was wondering, yeah, I was gonna make a joke about it. he's gonna cut hair. He's now cutting hair. That's part of his power. Oh, he's got the 23 and me quirk. Okay, didn't need the Sailor Moon. She even has the gloves. You sure, dude? Goodbye. That was right at a Tekken. Shitting with the, the Xiaoyu down back square. <laughs> that was just raw power? What is her arm wrestling ranking? Ouch. You're a D. This game has a very steep learning curve, difficulty curve. Nah, I'm calling you Biscuit. Clue's gonna take a lot of abuse this arc, and he's gonna deserve a lot of it. <laughs> Why do you want it though? There's gotta be more to it than that. Also crazy that with how strong she is, she hasn't been able to clear the game. How strong is Jing? We're also gonna get answers about I called him dads in a Jing this time. Jing? 
I mean, you'd, you'd imagine, right? Okay, alright, here's an answer. That is insane. But I guess not too surprising given what we know about him. Damn, Goni got a big mountain to climb. You can do both. Wing, you know, for all his eccentricities, is pretty gentle. How this game is not just totally winner-take-all is beyond me. To the point about the difficulty curve, how any, any rookie survives more than five seconds is amazing. You really do need an in, in-game mommy or daddy. Oh, wait a minute. She just entered the game. I just forgot in light of the fact that she seems to know so much about it. So she's also really intelligent, like in the best sense of the word intelligent. Oh, you have just been coerced into being a training dummy for my pupils. Will we be killed? You don't say. I would get it. You got scissors. <laughs> You've made your theme clear. What does that remind me of? Oh, it's the the clamp robot in Futurama. Where like he can't make a sentence without referencing his own clamps. Clamps may have a little surprise for them. The clamps, right? Yatsu ga damage o ukete ina kya me o tsubu sarete ita. All right, he held back on that one. One week, I'll be able to rest. I'll be able to heal my body. I'll be able to heal my body. Could you fall asleep in this condition? Now go on doing what he does, just blasting through things. That really is his quirk. Blasting through walls, <laughs> rocks, floors. They're doing this for two weeks? Well, they could just end it now. What counts as a clean hit? They're not gonna get tired. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I guess she just likes gems. Yeah, everyone sees it eventually. The sapphire. Okay, she just likes she just likes gemstones. Got it. Let's hope, for their sake, everyone's sakes. He's coming at me, huh? Why, why, why? Wow, what in the Goku? Speaking of coming at me, huh? They're just torturing the guy at this point. Huh? We need you at your best. <laughs> the insult, the outrage. Not one wink of sleep was to be had. I should be sneaky. There's something really cool, terrifying, animalistic about that scene, that moment. You're a lump of coal, Benolt. Benolt backstory? And that's when I fell in love with Benolt. Speaking of just loving stuff, what other people would see as a chore, you know, <laughs> staying in this hole for two weeks, they can't think of anything they'd rather do. This is gonna make us friends. Weirdly. <laughs> They're just bullying my my boy Benol. <laughs> They're putting his life through changes. He's reflecting on his entire existence. Existential crisis. He's getting that demon slayer demon treatment. I would like to be trained by you. <laughs> Nah, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, come on. Come on, man. And that's when Benolt realized the error of his ways. 
Well, fresh start for Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> wow, everything they touch turns to, yeah, gems. Nailed it! Oh yeah, travel that world map. Travel it. Enter the unique town. Speaking of full circle moments, it occurred to me that I've been talking about RPGs since, like, I think the first episode of Avatar. It feels really cool to now actually be watching a show that is centered around an RPG. I feel like I almost definitely got comments telling me that I should watch Hunter x Hunter because I like RPGs. But it's just a fact of life that sometimes you gotta learn things the hard way. This is your payment. You dig for gems. Like I said, we can do both at the same time. We can look for gems and train. Only they would say that. Tricked into child labor. <laughs> Paying for your training with child labor. Uh, this is some Kill Bill Pai Mei level brutality from a person named Biscuit. That's true, it's not Kalua's first rodeo. Oh, sleep deprivation is tough. My condolences. These are the best students, they just teach themselves. Just discovering none on their own. And we're already seeing ways it's transforming them. They're leveling up at an unbelievable rate. Again, rate of growth starting to seem like the most important thing rather than current level. I wonder what it would look like or what it would mean to think about life in those terms. That like you put all your energy not into any particular result level up, but infrastructural level up where your rate of growth is now improved. You're more efficient in that input output cycle. I wonder what that would look like. You know, like what are the skills that would increase your just raw efficiency at your own growth? Right, right. Seems like she's doing it just cuz. Oh, she heard that. She's even she can even enter the encyclopedia. She's that powerful. Biscuit's tough, man. She's a tough girl. Lady? Hag? Tough teacher. There's something Yoda-like in the way she was presented in her design, character design, to what we know about her now. Connecting this particular episode to a broader theme I've talked about a lot, which is the energy with which you approach things, approach life. There are obvious reasons why people with this mentality will grow really quickly. They just have less emotional headwinds. In fact, they have winds at their back, which is fun, enjoyment, flow state, etc. Maybe a less obvious one is that those people are such a joy to be around and teach if you're someone who loves a certain thing that they end up attracting the best teachers or people who are the most knowledgeable about whatever the thing is. This is not work for Biscuit. It's fun when you talk about stuff or you share some Thing that's important to you that you have some degree of knowledge in and people also love it you know and they can hear it they can understand it and even better if they can add to it you know like if their raw perspective their energy reveals things to you the veteran which you're obviously gonna love because you love the thing that can sometimes be useful to think about because while it might be initially counterintuitive you might be afraid to approach people who are like way ahead of you you might feel like you're wasting their time or that you're not worthy of them but actually if you approach it the right way which is with like you're actually interested you, you genuinely are curious about a thing and also so you know the basics because if you don't know the basics it's a sign that you you don't actually have that curiosity and interest but if you've made it past the immediately obvious to the point where it requires some some depth some interesting levels of depth experts are often thrilled to share because they love the field and they don't necessarily have so many outlets for that especially if it's a niche thing i feel that way all the time i love it when people ask me for really in-depth advice about things i'm passionate about like i will go out of my way to try to help people it's not a burden at all it's only a burden like i said if i feel like they're really looking for me to give something to them and are not willing to do the work. Two contrasting examples, I'm really interested in stocks, right? And sometimes I get questions like, how can I get rich using stocks? And I'm like, I don't really feel bothered to go into it, except to say it's probably not the best way to frame the thought. But on the flip side of that, I've taught a bunch of my friends options and elements of option theory, because if they're at the point where they're asking the question, it shows that they have on their own, through their natural curiosity, gone far enough down that pathway that we can start talking about really fun stuff. And I get the benefit of feeling like I'm helping because I know I can save you a lot of time because this stuff is a little bit more difficult. Whereas if it was just a five second Google search, it doesn't really show to me that I'm being valuable. One of my best friends is a math PhD. Really, really fun and exciting to talk to him about high level math stuff, which is philosophy beyond a certain point but then like people ask him to do arithmetic and it's like it's not what i do you know it's not what i'm here for anyway that's sort of the dynamic i'm getting from these early episodes with going and biscuit mm -hmm.